Hi guys, welcome to this newest video. In this newest video, we're gonna talk about the highlighter effect in Final Cut Pro. Well, I've already made a highlighter video before, so it was completely free of cost. It has nothing, no fancy thing. However, it is very time consuming. In this video, I'm gonna talk about a plugin from Motion VFX, which can save you guys a ton of time. And the highlighter effect is a part of this plugin too, with all different kinds of effects as well, which is going to save you guys a ton of time too. This highlighter effect is super simple to use, and we're gonna show this in Final Cut Pro. However, this is a paid plugin but you guys have to pay something you know to save a lot of time right with that being said if you guys like this kind of content then do make sure to subscribe press the like button comment down below i'm pistol sammy and let's get started so before anything if you guys want a free tutorial then go to the link in the description just go and watch the free tutorial that's it however if you guys want to take it to the next level and want to save a lot of time then this one is for you so just go to the motion vfx site go to the plugin called m tutorial this is an amazing plugin it this is a little bit on the costlier side however the features which comes with it the plugins which comes with it actually going to save you guys a ton of time when i got this plugin i am not really using anything else because of how fast smooth and how many features it has so this has this plugin called highlighter all you have to do is just simply make your timeline get all the things which you need on the screen just like the way you want it to be and then after that drag the highlighted title which you're going to find on the titles panel right here just drag it onto the timeline that's it once you guys get, drag it onto the timeline there will be two pointers which will be the start and ending of the highlighter effect of course so drag and play with the highlighted points so that will be the starting point this will be the ending point you can change the color of the highlighter too maybe from yellow you guys can change it purple something else etc i'll keep it to yellow as well for the blending mode i would say keep it to linear burn that gives it the best effect as well as increase the opacity all the way to maximum these are two settings which you have to do other than that it is done the animation is just automated you guys don't have to do anything else you guys can remove the out animation too if you guys want to just keep the intro animation of the highlighter effect otherwise it can do both of them and this looks like the final result again it looks super cool super awesome and very fast to make and they have various different kinds of variations of it too if you guys just want to use different kinds of variations other than those that is pretty much it again if you guys want a free tutorial on it i've already made a video on that the link is there in the description below if you guys want to check it out with that being said if you guys like this kind of videos drop a like subscribe to this channel comment down below guys and i'm pixel sammy i'll be back with a new video soon peace out